Hello, parents. It's gonna be a big school year. Your kids are gonna climb rope. They're gonna have a year-long tug-of-war with the ceiling. And by the time they get out of eighth grade, they're gonna do it with sweat on their brow and achievement in their hearts. So, this is what they're gonna need. Running shoes, t-shirts, tube socks, fruit cups, cheese sticks, energy bars, rope climbing gloves, rope burn ointment, and a jump drive. Not sure what that is, but they're gonna be jumping. You want one? Go to your local store or call 1-800-COMPOSITION. Number one, don't dress like a slut. I come to find out if you dress like a slut, people think you're a slut. Slut? So dress cute, then people would think you're cute. Girl, you look so cute, you might turn me on to the taco box. Number two, don't cheat off smart people, because somehow teachers always find out. I've been trying to tell you this whole time it's M-A-T-H, not M-A-F. Maria, can I talk to you for a second? What, Mr. Vody? Did you copy off of Vagina? No, why would you accuse me of such things? Well, along with copying her answers, you also copied her name. Shut up. Number three, don't talk about your friends behind their backs. I mean, you can talk about your enemies behind their backs because they're probably stupid and full of themselves and need to be brought back to Earth because all of a sudden they change into a completely different person that you became friends with. And just because you got a boyfriend, they don't talk to you anymore. And then when your boyfriend cheats on you, you miss your best friend. Hello. Wow, look what Satan spit out. I just wanted to tell you that- Tell me what? That you just found out Frankie was cheating on you like I was trying to tell you all along but you wouldn't listen because you thought I was jealous and now you want to be my friend again? Pretty much. Okay. So I mean, that's all the tips that I have for you today. So like, go to school and don't get beat up. Okay, bye. Yeah, quick tutorial on how to flush a toilet with no uh, electricity. You'll need a bucket with some water in it and a toilet. Here's how you do it. Take your bucket of water and pour it through the water as fast as you can. The East Coast, our FEMA regions, and the federal family of, of agencies that are getting ready for Hurricane Irene. Uh, we already have evacuations that are now taking place in uh, North Carolina. We know that other states are considering that. And it looks like the track of Hurricane Irene is going to have a major impact along the East Coast, starting in the Carolinas all the way up through Maine. I'm Jeanette Barber from Rosie Radio for Medical Missions for Children, a nonprofit group that goes to third world countries doing free surgeries on deformed kids. We have a new sponsorship program, Buy a Smile for a Child. This is an opportunity for you to change a child's life. Being born with a cleft lip in a third world country is a life sentence of ostracism and shame. But in one hour, we can transform that child to be able to live a full, happy, normal, productive life. For $300, just $25 a month for only one year, you can buy the surgery that will end the tragedy for a child. With this tiny bit of money, you can be the one that makes that difference. You can use your money not to buy a new purse or another pair of shoes you don't need, but to buy a smile to buy confidence, to buy a second chance for a child for whom this surgery will be life-changing in every way. Go to our website, www.mmfc.org, to find out how. mmfc.org. Morning. What do you think then? Get an early start on that alfalfa on the back 40? What's the hurry? Hit the snooze. Good night.